Hi guys, it's Joan and I just wanted to make a quick video on the idea that for me and why I am making so many videos and why I'm posting so many videos because you might be, especially my friends on Facebook, maybe like, okay, you're posting a lot of videos and I'm, I don't mean to be annoying and I really actually don't like it when I'm on someone's email list and they send out like emails every day and sometimes more than once a day actually. Um, and I'm trying to do this three times a week or maybe a little bit more, but I also have a lot of topics and I feel like I have a very short time to do it. I was delayed and had a lot of detours in my life and um, I feel like I've been given a second chance to fulfill my purpose on this earth. And so making videos is for me, it's a matter of life and death. And that may seem, okay, that's a little dramatic of a statement, but I'll tell you what made me come to this conclusion. So the beginning of the year, I was reading a book and I actually don't remember the title. I think it was oh, called Abraham, A Friend of God and it's by Henry Blackaby. He's an awesome author and he did a whole series on experiencing God, but he also wrote a book called Abraham, God's Friend, or if you looked it up on Amazon and you looked it under Abraham, God's Friend or something like that, then you would probably, you would find that title by Henry Blackaby. And he talked about in that book about how some people sometimes they miss what God had been doing in their life, but then they, God gives them a second chance. And this one guy was sharing how he had a vision of how when he didn't do what he was supposed to do, that there were people going to hell. I know that this is, you know, probably it's, it's an uncomfortable thing for me to say, but I am just going to say it because there's something that you are called to do and are maybe there's people suffering or going even to hell because you're not doing it and is what is that for you for me it's making videos making videos is a matter of life and death and i'll just share you share with you one little um excerpt and it's from breastfeedingonline.com and and i just happen to be making a lot of breastfeeding videos right now and um what it says here is that according to the World Health Organization, uh, UNICEF, about 1.5 million babies die every year because they were not breastfed. Many more millions suffer from infectious diseases and malnutrition, never reaching their full potential because they were bottle fed. And so that's just breastfeeding. I mean, I'm talking about, you know, um, and, and about, you know, malnutrition because I do talk a lot about nutrition, talk about it in pregnancy, in breastfeeding, and you know, I'll talk more as my daughter grows and we have interesting situations come up, I'm sure they will. And um, so, you know, so I read that book and then I, I got an email, it was several weeks ago and I, I had a migraine headache and I made the video then, but I thought, you know what, that's not a very motivating video because it didn't look very good. But I was talking about that idea and it was an email that I got and she said, marketing uh, for your business, a matter of life and death. And I was like, okay. Um, but she shared a story how she was going to visit a friend of hers to go to a graduation, a high school graduation. And instead of when they got there, the, the son, the boy had passed away. He'd been shot the day before or that morning or something. It was like very close to the time, like so much, so little time had passed that they didn't even um, have a chance to get, like the people didn't have a chance to tell him don't come to the graduation because he's gone. So they came, they showed up and they found out that he had passed away. And so this was an email that I got a, a few weeks ago and she was just saying how, you know, um, like, that maybe the work that she's doing in the world, you know, she's talking about marketing people's businesses. Maybe she'll help someone market a business that would have helped him with his problem or whatever it is that caused him to be in that kind of situation. I mean, I know that there's situations in this world where there's nothing we can do about, there's nothing that, um, you know, things happen. I mean, we live in a fallen world. We live in a broken world. People are broken. People are, people are fallen. They, they make mistakes. They do wrong things and they hurt each other. And we, we, we sometimes do that. We hurt each other. And the thing is, is when we learn and when we know better, we can do better and we can help others. And we may be able to save some lives, you know, by what we do. I'm sure doctors, when they go to work every day, 
because they became a doctor, they, I forget who I heard saying that. I was like, I saved a life today. You know, like they feel pretty good about themselves because they feel like what they're doing in this world is extremely important. They're saving lives every day. So what is it that you're doing to help save lives every day? Even your work that might not seem completely unrelated to saving a life like a doctor would, I'm sure that whatever it is you're called to do will have an impact on someone. And it may be the, the, that saying about the loss of the nail was the loss of the king, was the loss of the shoe, was the loss of, it's a song I learned when I was young. The loss of the shoe was the loss of the horse, was the loss of the king and the loss of the kingdom. So it was like all started with a little nail in the horse's shoe. And you know, it's like the tiny little things, the person that created the, or not created, but even just manufactured the nails in my house. I mean, my house is standing up because of that person. I mean, we could go back and, you know, go into these rabbit trails of how we all affect each other, you know, and that's, that's kind of the bottom line. And what is it that you're doing? And you have to ask yourself that question and, um, only you can answer that question, but I just wanted to leave, uh, make a video on that because I don't want my videos to seem, I know for the people that they're helping and the people that they, um, that they're serving, they're good. But when I post it on Facebook, I know that there's a lot of friends on there that that may um, may not ever watch these videos, but I hope that if they do watch them or if they do know someone that they can help, that they would forward them and that they would um, share them with the people that, that they may be of help to. And also, go do the thing that you're called to do. That's what really is, matters and is really important. I'll talk to you later. Love you guys, bye-bye.